This is not a U.S. casino. Yet our U.S.-based testers managed to sign in, deposit, and play some games. What happened next is surprising. In this video report, we bring you insights from not one, but two testers who were tasked to explore Trust Dice Casino. Making this adventure even more intriguing is the fact that this casino supposedly doesn't welcome U.S. players, yet our investigators, who are both U.S.-based, managed to register, deposit, and play games. Was everything equally smooth for both of them when cash-out time arrived? Stay tuned for a comprehensive Trust Dice Casino video report and find out. Call it a rule of thumb, or whatever you like, but registration is usually one of those segments completed without much fuss, if any. None of our testers have ever experienced any issues while joining the casino. These tests weren't exemptions from that rule either, which, truth be told, is a surprise. Because here's the thing. Even though the operator's terms explicitly say that the United States is among restricted jurisdictions, both of our U.S.-based testers managed to create accounts. The first tester registered on June 2nd, 2023, while the other signed up a bit less than two months later on August 30th, 2023. Hoping that this phase of the investigation would be equally as uncomplicated as the initial phase, the testers went on to fund the account immediately after registering. The first tester replenished his account with $200 worth of Bitcoin on June 2nd, 2023. Within moments, the money became visible on his casino account, so he could proceed to the next stage. On the other hand, the second tester wasn't so lucky. She deposited $250 in Bitcoin on August 30th, 2023, but didn't have the money credited to her casino balance immediately. An automatic bonus was applied to her deposit, so she had to reach out to the support department and have it removed. The communication with the customer support department wasn't quite flash-like, as advertised on the landing page. It took an hour for money to reflect on her casino balance. The minimum deposit amount is determined by the casino, whereas the maximum amount varies based on the chosen payment method. To be able to withdraw any winnings, a player needs to deposit at least 0.5 millibitcoin or other currency equivalents. Also, a customer needs to wager the initial deposit amount five times to become eligible for withdrawal of funds. Teamed up with several respectable content developers, Trust Dice Casino is home to all sorts of casino games, live games, dice games, and crash games, as well as sports and esports. That's why our testers didn't have any problems finding the right adventures for themselves to explore. Tester number one checked out Blockchain Megaways, Fire in the Hole, Stars Megaways, Elvis Frog in Vegas, Dragon Tribe, and Fortune Rabbit. Tester number two played Sin City Knights and Lord of the Sun. Contrary to the rule of thumb involving the registration process, this is the stage where most players experience issues, either due to high wagering requirements, incomplete ID verification, higher fees, or something along those lines. On June 6, 2023, the first tester submitted a withdrawal request for 0.002 Bitcoin. Due to failing to meet the mandatory five-time wagering on his deposit, he had the request canceled that same day. All there was left for him to do was to play the remaining funds and then conclude his journey. When the withdrawal time arrived, the first thing our second tester did was contact the support department. As the progress of wagering requirements completion was nowhere to be found in the cashier, she inquired about that with a chat support representative. It turned out that the deposit sum was wagered, so she made a cash out request. On August 30th, 2023, 30 minutes after submitting her request to withdraw her funds, our tester received $145.19. According to the terms, the maximum withdrawal amount approved to a player at Trust Dice Casino is $5,000 per day, $15,000 per week, and $50,000 per month. Withdrawals are usually processed within an hour, but in some situations, it may take up to 48 hours. None of our testers were required to verify identity, but the operator does have the right to ask a player to submit some documents for KYC purposes. In case one fails to complete it within 72 hours of being requested, the account will be blocked or closed. Before we conclude, why don't we take a quick look at the milestone moments of both tests once again. As you can see, the first test failed, while the second had a happy ending. But a couple of burning questions still remain unanswered. 
How were testers able to bypass the country restrictions and register in the first place? Was it a coincidence or something else? If players from other restricted areas were to try the same experiment, would they be as lucky as our second tester? All in all, players are advised to avoid experiments like that, as such actions often result in confiscated winnings. We hope this detailed video report helped you to evaluate whether Trust Dice Casino is the right place for you. Always read the terms and conditions and make sure to gamble responsibly.